Okay, in this video, we're going to talk about the different use cases of hybrid cloud. So basically how you apply it in your enterprise to make it work for the business. We're going to talk about application hosting, data hosting, dev and test environments, distributed applications, as well as where to keep learning. So as I mentioned in the introduction video, private cloud and public cloud, which are paired together, is really what a hybrid cloud is. So we need the capabilities of understanding that. So this is about dealing with two separate platforms and the ability to put the right use cases, the right workloads on the particular platforms that where they're going to be most effective. OK, let's talk about the use case of application and data hosting. So first, we have a public cloud. And we have a private cloud, both a part of a hybrid cloud. Now, part of the application and data hosting stack are the application itself, or the program that runs in memory, the data, or the database. Could be raw storage. It could be a legitimate database, such as a relational database or an object database. And we have the platform. In other words, the underlying operating system where the data is being stored and the application is running. And that could be Linux, it could be Windows NT, things like that. So the public and the private cloud are connected by a network. And the private cloud basically has the same thing. Application runs on it, as well as data, as well as platform. So they have, in essence, the analog of each other in terms of components. So the public cloud will provide hosts for the application, the data, and the platform, basically the operating system, the compute instance, the virtual machine, where the data and the application are running, and private clouds do exactly the same thing. So even though we own the hardware and software, and that may live within our data center, however, the functions that they're doing and basically how they're acquiring data and acquiring applications and operating those successfully really are systemic to what a public and a private cloud is. And then security is systemic to the whole thing. You have to remember that security is not typically going to be a cloud native feature, a private cloud native feature, a public cloud native feature. It needs to rise above both of the platforms. It needs to be systemic to how we manage the platforms, in essence, how we control them and how we operate them. So the phases of cloud computing data technology adoption include lower operational costs, integration of existing data silos, the ability to bring these systems together so they're in essence able to exchange information. And that may occur intra-cloud or inter-cloud. So it may occur within a private or public cloud within those systems, or it may occur between a private and public cloud. Then influencing actions and outcomes. Ultimately, the ability to take the information, the data, and put it into use and have it influence the actions and outcomes of the particular business. So the idea is to put spotlight on the information, basically bring information out to those who need to consume it. And so ultimately we're dealing with cloud data that's able to provide us with strategic advantages because we have better insights as to what the business is accomplishing or not accomplishing. So let's talk about dev test environments. So Cloud computing provides a great platform for dev tests and utilization of things such as DevOps and agile methodologies and things like that. We're not going to get into what that is here, but basically you need to understand that we have portfolio management, project management, operations, requirements, tests, and development that may span public and private clouds. So as you build a DevOps system and as you bring these things online, you need to have the capability to understand that they're not going to be local to one particular cloud platform or one particular platform within the cloud. They're going to be systemic typically to the private and public cloud platforms. And we do that because they're able to provide us with the best cost advantages based on what we're doing in development and testing. So distributed applications are very important to understand. So we have cloud management platforms, basically technology that allows us to base monitor these very complex distributed systems. So the use case for a hybrid cloud ultimately is we're able to take applications and platforms and infrastructure and then put it into a very complex distributed system, which is what a hybrid cloud is. But we're able to abstract ourselves away from the complexity using things such as cloud management platforms or governance platforms or security platforms, which are able to, in essence, link into the complexity, but they're abstracting us away from it. So therefore we can configure the resources at a much more higher level of abstraction 
and have a better understanding of what we're doing and how we're managing those systems. We have to log things. We have to understand how things are moving. We have to monitor things as they're being operated. And those sorts of things are incredibly important. So where do you keep learning? Well, you'll find out more about this topic in the next video unit. So I urge you to keep moving on and keep learning about hybrid cloud.